Do you know what an alchemist is? It's someone who knows how to transform one thing into another. So back in the day, an alchemist was someone who could take metal that was useless and alchemize it into gold. Well, as a sexual alchemist, you can take your sexual energy and alchemize it, transform it into better health, better relationships, more money, and spiritual power. And in this video, I'm going to share with you some of the secrets that I've learned by practicing sexual alchemy in my own life and how to do it. Before we dive into it though, I do want to say thank you so much for pressing play. Just in case you're brand new here, please hit the subscribe button, be part of the community, hit the bell button, get notified. I got two new videos coming for you every single week that's going to help you master your energy and create your life. Also, just quickly, I want to tell you that there's a free webinar training coming up at the end of August, how to transmute your sexual energy. It's free. It's an hour. Register. Attend. It's going to transform your life. I'm going to be sharing with you the exact process that I use to transform and to transmute my own sexual energy. Also, big shout out. Victor is my latest patron. He's become uh, decided to support me with a monthly pledge. He supports this channel. And because he's become a patron, he's also a member of Nikula Das Ministries, where I'm giving daily mantra meditations, daily spiritual lessons, tons of great content to help you connect with your father, your spiritual father, God. All right, guys, let's dive into it. Sexual alchemy. I'm smiling already because I really like this subject. Who doesn't like to talk about sex? I know a whole, I'm not a holy man, but a lot of people say, oh, people of God shouldn't be talking about sex. People of, of some faith shouldn't be talking about sex. But actually, I totally disagree because uh, if we're not, if we're going to talk about life, how can we not talk about sex? The very thing that brought you here, <laughs> right? The very thing. And, uh, you know, the other one is death. These are two taboo subjects people don't want to talk about. But sex uh, should be talked about. In fact, I feel that our sexual education has let us down tremendously. We have no idea how to use our sexual energy other than for sex itself. And even in the bedroom, many men are failing in that department, whether that's uh, premature ejaculations, erectile dysfunction has become a huge problem. Men not knowing how to please uh, their partners in bed. It's a huge challenge uh, and, uh, and it's something that's causing a lot of distress. So I'm talking about it, I'm, I'm facing it head on, uh, no matter how taboo some people may think it, it is. Sexual alchemy is a lot of fun because we're talking about using sex other than for sex. So sexual energy is an energy and an energy can be used in many different ways. So it can be used on a physical level, but it can be used at a higher level. It can be used on a creative level to create art, to create societies, leadership, businesses, money, finances, relationship. The power to get up and get moving all comes from your sex energy. Sex energy can be transformed into love, love for other human beings, service to others, and ultimately prima. Prima means pure love of God. So how do you do it? How do you become a sexual alchemist? Well, first of all, you have to become conscious of your sex energy. Most men, their sex energy and your sex energy may be sitting unconsciously, unconsciously for you. So this drives you to these unconscious patterns to watch a ton of porn and jerk off in front of uh, and 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 uh, uh, ejaculate in front of porn to masturbate and ejaculate uh, tirelessly. I know some guys. They've told me they're ejaculating sometimes two, three, four times a day. Okay, no judgment if this is you, but I just want you to know that ultimately you're wasting your sexual energy. I used to be a, a once a guy, a once a day at least kind of guy, and now I'm holding my semen for long periods of time. Why? Because it alchemizes. What ends up happening is as you begin to hold your sexual energy, your body reabsorbs that energy and reuses it. It transforms it into other usable energy. On a physical level, it helps repair the body, helps repair the muscles. It spikes your testosterone, excuse me, which is good for muscle growth. If you're working out, if you're an athlete, if you want to be overall healthy, semen retention is going to do that. Sexual alchemy is going to do that. 
But on a more subtle level, by practicing things like yoga, qigong, meditation, and consciously moving your sexual energy throughout your body, you're alchemizing it. You're making it spiritual. You're giving it power. You're taking it from this raw physical substance and you're cooking it, steaming it, moving it up the body, nourishing the brain, nourishing the throat, nourishing all your energetic centers. It's nourishing you physically as well as energetically. So how do you do it? You do it by consciously actually going into your sex energy, which means you have to get you have to get rid of all the taboo and the shame and the guilt and the weirdness that you have about sex. And that itself is going to transform it. We have a, we have such a society where sex is everywhere, but yet we carry shame, we carry guilt. Oh gosh, I'm having these feelings, you know. Religion has bashed us especially, you know, in the Christian sort of tradition that I grew up, you know, it just bashes it rather than teaching us what to do about it. So the first thing is we go into it and we deal with all of the the negative feelings we have towards sex, which actually frees our sexual energy. We can now actually be freely sexually expressed or we can be creatively expressed. And then we start to then go, okay, now that I'm getting rid of some of this darkness around it, now I've got light around it or consciousness around it, I don't want to just use it on a physical level because I realize there's so much more it can be do, I can do with it. So I want to build it up and I want to start to steam it. And that comes through the process of Qigong, sexual alchemy, where we actually, you learn to heat your body up you learn to heat it up, heat it up, heat it up, and then move it with your mind, the power of your mind throughout the body. And see, I'm doing this with my hands because this is part of the process of Qigong. It's actually use my hands to float throughout my body with my mind. While at first we learn to practice in a non-aroused state, so with cool energy, more feminine energy, and then more yang energy, direct, powerful, aroused sexual energy. As you know, when your sex energy is aroused, I mean, you could be up all night, you could have tons of energy, you know, you're on Tinder, just swiping, 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 swiping. Anybody who says yes uh, is you're, you're, you know, driving two hours across the city to go see them, <laughs> right? You know, you're doing all kinds of things, right? When your sex energy is aroused, think about it, it changes you on a physical level. Now imagine if you could arouse your sex energy, but not just go after sex, but now you can take that energy and connect with your partner. Or you could take that energy and put it into your business. You could put it into your health, into sports, into the thing, into your creativity. Imagine you could take that sex energy and put it into spiritual power and make it pure love. What wouldn't you be able to accomplish? This is the power of sexual energy. So how to do it at a high level. First, you have to go into your sexual energy and deal with all the negativity that you may have around it, whether unconscious or uh, whether consciously or unconsciously. Get rid of the shame, the guilt. Then we want to heat it up. You want to learn how to move it, steam it, take it from raw semen to ojas, which is spiritual power, increasing your vibration, and then couple that with a strong meditation practice so you can direct it to where you want to go. When you know how to do these three things, you're going to be able to transmute your sexual uh, uh, energy. You're going to be able to alchemize it and have it to be the fuel for the life that you want to create. I'm going to be diving more into this process on the webinar coming up. So make sure you register. You get access to that webinar. Come and train with me for an hour. I promise you can be a great investment of your time. Not only that, you can check out some of the free resources on the website, the free ejaculation control guide. And uh, thanks so much for supporting this channel. I wish you all the best on your journey. I'll see you in the next video.